until he's back up. Um, Five but... seconds remaining. Okay, we should be live again. Um, yeah, Reserved I don't know what that time. was. Sorry, guys. OBS, good program. I think it was the people of Norwich. Yeah, that's after I insulted them. Yeah. Dire team ban. Um, another Medusa ban. Okay. Um, this is a pretty core light first phase. There's a lot of bans on cores already. The Dark Sea and Roka. team pick. Sans and someone who has Medusa. slipped through is the is the Spectre. Spectre. Yep, and there we go. Picked up immediately. Radiant team pick. So that's that's oh, that's pretty amazing against Earthshaker and Lion actually because both of them I want to go into Blink Daggers and Specs are amazing at cancelling Blinks. So a scary prospect there. And I think City may have been in a position where they were thinking about getting it themselves as well. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I'd say I'd say so. I wonder what they can Ten up to try and play remaining. against. Specs is a very hard hero to. To have a counterplay. Five seconds remaining. What do you do to beat a Spectre apart from gank early? Um, it is definitely tough. He he is obviously very weak early. Once he gets farmed, he's pretty much going to win, uh, uh, unless you're pretty far ahead. I guess split pushing is a bit of an option, but you've always got the worry of just him haunting on top of you. So the, the one it's thing tough. It's very tough. The one thing I will say is that even though Spectre is very good. I'm not sure there could have been a worse pair of heroes to pick it up against than Lion and Earthshaker. Those are two heroes that are very, very good against the Spectre. Spectre in the middle of the team fight, although she'll, like, I know they kind of counterplay each other because Spectre can cancel the blinks as well. But in a team fight, uh, the middle of a team fight, Earthshaker will be able to echo an extra five plus Dire targets if there's Mantas there as well. Yep. Lion is never ever going to die to a Spectre Illusion because he has two spells which destroy them instantly. The Mana Drain and the Hex both instantly pop Illusions. Um, so even if he's with someone else, he can destroy the Illusion following him and the one on someone else. Yeah, that's very true, actually. So we'll be a bit of a counter versus counter there, we'll see. Yeah. Maybe they will just ignore the, uh, the Blink Dagger, actually. I guess Earthshaker can just build four stuff. Lion can build... Four staff as well on Etherlands maybe to kind of try and get around it. I like the Etherlands on Lion, yeah. I'm not I'm not Yeah, I mean Earthshaker, I guess you're right, I guess he's it's gonna be hard for him to get initiations sometimes, but I think you still need to get the Earthshaker Ten seconds dagger remaining. just for the sake of making the making the captures right. Five you know, you want to come out remaining. of the trees somewhere and land an Echo Slam on top of two people and the creep waves and then have Slardar Reserve follow up time. with something of his own as well. And look yeah. at this. Dire weird, team weird draft. They really, yeah. really value this TA, don't they? Um, this, I'd say, isn't as bad a TA game as the last game was. No, no I know, um, but... A Lena pick, is that... Ten could potentially remaining. be a mid laner. I was almost definitely going to be a mid laner, actually. Yeah, I'd, Im Five I'd imagine that's remaining. mid. Um, not fantastic against the TA, but good enough. Reserve time. Another Omni Knight ban. This one... This one more valid, I think, actually. Uh, Repel on Omni Knight. Uh, Repel on Witch Doctor, obviously, very strong. Yeah. Same for Lina. Neither of them really want to find themselves beating B. Building PKBs and obviously um, against that Earthshaker and Lion, there's a lot of um, work that Omni can do. Dire team pick. Not sure exactly how well it would fit into their lineup, though. It would put the picks by both sides really not. It seems like both teams just want to pick the heroes that they want, regardless of what the other side is doing. They don't seem to care if they're being countered. I.e., all these Blink Dagger heroes and the Spectre. Against the Spectre. Yeah. Um, Ten seconds remaining. Disrupts a pick now is. It's alright. <laughs> um, it's quite a weird pick, actually, Disruptor. I mean, there's people that are going to be blinking in, and you can send them back, but. Yeah, there's two. There's Radiant two melee pick. heroes that want to be right in the middle of everything the Earthshaker and the Slardar, and the TA that has pretty short range. I think a good Static Storm is big. Um, Final pick is Slark for City. 
Oh really, so triple melee cores. Again, doesn't just no one seems to give a shit about what the other team is doing. <laughs> Apparently not, but you know, maybe maybe that's fine. There's a lot of stuff to deal with Ten the seconds remaining. with the Slark as well. The static slam, the Lena, the Tide Hunter, all good against the Slark. We're just gonna have to sync up again. If wait until I or well, wait until we're both in the game and we'll sync according to the in game clock. Okay. Because you're like a few seconds ahead of me. Okay. Um, and as usual, we like when the heroes load in as well. Missed the ending. Who won game one? Game one was won by City. Um, yeah, fairly, fairly convincingly. Eventually, there was a few nice defenses that came out from University of East Anglia, which did make it um, a little close towards the end. But um, City did end up closing out that game. I believe we. This is only a short pause, I believe. Yep, there we go. James Sugar has reconnected, and we'll be underway shortly and then we can sync up the clocks right, as we wanna, are if you want to if you want to stop your your one when it gets to 120 when it's unpaused okay we'll resume that okay dun, 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 dun. okay I'm on 120 okay so there's the reconnect James Sugar. <laughs> so I'm it's really weird there's no proper replay system for watching together. So dumb. Valvus. Um, okay, I'm at 120. 3, 2, 1. Okay, here we go. Hopefully we're lined up about right. And maybe we should quickly interview the teams before it kicks off again, because I don't don't think we introduced UEA last game, right? I introduced one hero and then they all kicked off. Oh yeah, maybe. Okay, so I'll quickly do I'll quickly do City again. Uh, we have Paring on Lion, uh, Bin Bin on the Earthshaker, War Metallic on the Slark, My Name is Jeff on the TA, and uh, Sarusan on the slot up. Okay, and then for University of East Anglia we have got Sephiroth on a uh, Spectre all the way from France, I believe. We have got uh, James Sugar on Disruptor. Um, then Witch Doctor will be played by... Wow, you did such an amazing pronunciation for this guy that I actually felt quite under pressure, but here we go, YOLO. Bob D. Baumeister. Haven't quite got the accent, but and then uh, finally we have got TAS Diablo on Lena and Stifler's Mum on Tide Hunter. And uh, will we see as much action before the rune spawns as last game? I somehow doubt it, but I mean it's a it's a four v four v two bot and a three v one top. I the imagine it's just going to be the people with the most things getting the runes here, and it's going to be. Oh, so that's pretty unfortunate for the leaner. The TA gets the room, but Spectre snags the top one rather than waiting for the lean to get there. Yeah, that's it's unusual, but it's it's it's, it's not disastrous. We'll see what Lena can do. Yeah, How do you think this uh this lane face-off goes? The leaner TA matchup. Lena TA. Uh, I think both heroes farm. Um, yep, pretty much. I think as long as Lena can get her bottle up, she's going to be fine. TA needs to be kind of careful about how the defensive re refraction charges get used, because um, she wants to make sure she blocks uh, some of the you know level three dragon slaves when they come up. Yep, and uh, we are actually going to see dual lanes coming out from City, interestingly. So it's a Slark Lion bot and an Earthshaker Slardar top. That's weird. Um, I think that will actually manage to. Help the Slardar though. I think just the threat of having the Earthshake nearby and the, you know, having the ability to throw out the Fissure and save the Slardar when possible. They're actually going to try. Bob oh, may have yes. overextended that. Oh no. Ah, uh, nice little cask. Yeah. Oh, are they going to go for this kill? A lot of damage. They don't have a glimpse. They don't have a mana or the levels. Earthshake. Oh wow. Have, yeah, absolutely wrecked Sator. Yeah, I know. Getting around. <laughs> More useful than the. uh the actual heroes themselves. 
he's taking a lot of damage, he's going to have to stop going through some HP. And on, on bottom lane, I guess Lion's just going to be pulling. And we'll have to see if... I think we identified one of the biggest problems in the last game was uh, the UAE supports having... UEA supports, oh my god, having no uh, no levels. So we'll see what they're going to do about that this time. Although, no pulls coming out for them again. They're just going to have to sit in lane and deal with this um, slaughter. I don't think they need to. They really they don't need two heroes to zone these guys out. They're both melee. Now the coconut doesn't bounce, but the fissure has to be used defensively. I feel like if they could chain these, chain the two spells together, Radiant the crush and the fissure are fortified. They could probably get one or two kills with it. The witch doctor and the disruptor will both go down pretty fast. One armor Mid on the witch doctor, one armor on the disruptor. The mid lane is uh, very firmly going in the way of TA right now. Yeah, I guess Lena's a bit worried to spam out too many Dragon Slaves before she has bottle, in case she needs the mana. Actually, takes a level in Fiery Soul, which is like rather than the second point in Dragon Slave, which is super unnecessary this early. Take it at level 4, but I think getting the highest points you possibly can into the Dragon Slave as soon as possible. Denied. It's pretty strong. I mean, I guess you should be able to secure a CS with 110 damage from the level 1, but she's not been able to do it so far because she's only found 7 CS. So. She is going to get a bottle after, not after getting that lost hit because she doesn't get it. She's really struggling. That's the TA. I wonder if she saw that ward going down as well. Intimidating lane matchup, I guess, against the TA, but I think they should be able to do better than what she's doing right now. We'll see if the lane is the bottle will be coming out, so maybe then she'll stop being so scared of spamming. How come the map is like a desert today, normally it's green, is Dota making a climate change statement? Any um, thoughts on that, Max? <laughs> um, you know, as... No, I don't. You don't have any thoughts? Okay. No, I was going to try, but... You had a, a big platform there to yeah. uh, really push for recycling or something, if I, I don't know. If I was on more than three hours of sleep, maybe, maybe I would have had a... Recycle, kids. Yeah, recycle stuff, guys. Go on. So Slardar's moved back onto his um, stacking strategy. He's left Earthshaker to get some XP and he's going to go back to stacking those camps. Which we saw him doing very well in the last game. Do we have a send back on Disruptor right now? Looks like the answer is no. Yeah, only level one. And look at the CS in mid, oh my god. Yeah, this is... 26 last hits for the uh, TA. Meanwhile, Lena's down on 10. Does have the bottle now as well. Why is she not just spamming out? Lena is scared to use all mana by the looks of things. Like, she needs to. Like, to be left with no mana, but yeah, she can just rotate to Roost to get her mana back. Or, you know, Bottle Crow or anything. She needs to use these spells to find some CS, cause... TA is going to begin his uh, ancient stacking right now. Yep. Like you said, Slardar... Trying and to I think considering... Control. Considering how well TA did in the last game, which was a really hard matchup for her, we can expect big things from her in this one, where it's probably a lot easier. Oh wow! Whoa! Tidehunter got slot really died during all that. Thanks for that. Level three pounds. I really think that uh, slot has uh, Tide's been getting a lot of harassing bottom lane. I really he should have maybe considered a stout shield, because then line hitting him it pretty much just does nothing. On Tide, Stout Shield and Kraken Shield don't stack. Don't they? No. Not at all. Okay. No. Ignore me then, ignore me. Does not stack with items that provide damage block. Um, so does not stack with items that provide damage block? Okay, let's just casually ignore that I said that then. <laughs> um. Well, I'm currently just thinking back to Tide games and wondering if I've bought Stout Shield in them. Oh, I, I know I have. I know I have for sure. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I have at some point. Um. Oh dear. <laughs> He, um, he still managed to find. He's found four levels, even if he has lost the lost the first blood. He's seven yeah. He could be in trouble now, though. Earthshaker's rotated down. They have Maybe seen him. Okay, so Lark hasn't reacted though. Yeah, no, and Lion doesn't want to use any stuns. They don't want to what do the hell? Oh, what on earth was that? Get out of here, watermelon! <laughs> what was that? <laughs> if we catch you here again, <laughs> that was a free kill, right? We do see a bit of action going on to Lena now. Yeah, and Lena. With a haste rune. What on earth just happened, bomb? Yeah. That was a dead tide, right? So uh, it 
should have been, yeah. I mean, possibly he might have survived if the Kraken shell dispelled one of the stuns, but, you know. That was unusual, to say the least. Yeah, that was a weird one. Dyer's um, middle slot level 6 attack. now. The supports do not need to be here anymore. Slot is 100% solo this lane and, in theory, wrecked the Tide Hunter. So they should be able to go and rotate now. They're not finding enough levels. Four on the line is okay, but two on the Earthshaker is really bad. Yeah, I guess that's it's, it's line's been pulling, whereas uh, Earthshaker's been camping out for Slaughter. The Slaughter hardly has any levels either. I mean, sure, Tide Hunter has gone down once, but wow, level three on the Slaughter. On the Slaughter, sorry. There've been a lot of side pulls to this this large camp on the Dire side, but none of the creeps, none of the neutral creeps, have really gone down because of the. Unholy aura from the uh, Sator. Look at um, the uh, the number of denies TA has is just disgusting. Yeah, Twenty five denies at uh, seven minutes, and Lena is pretty sad right now. TA pretty much two full levels ahead of her. Lena, I don't know if maybe the the player is uncomfortable with Lena. I don't know what was was this the same person that's, that was on Invoker last game? Um, I think it, it was Seraphoth on uh, on Invoker last time. He was now playing Spectre, so oh, okay. there has been a bit of a mix-up somewhere along the line there. And some action bottom onto the Tide Hunter. Looks like they aren't going to let him just walk away that time. Ooh, he does get the Kraken Shell prop. Kraken Shell gets rid of the Impale, but now Spectre coming in. Who's trying to go and just trying to turn towards the Lion here? Is there a there's an attempt at oh, block? Oh wow! The uh, phase movement from the Spectral Dagger just lets the Spectre move straight through. Yeah, oh, look at it go. All these radiant creeps almost wide. making a mess of the spectre there, but which they, to they do line. get the line, but they they did rotate through for that. Now mid lane, oh no, Lena, not like this. Just use the Laguna Blade onto a refraction there. Boy, oh boy. Now disruptors arrived. Disruptors are they gonna be able to turn around? I think they should be able to find a kill here. The, no detection. The glimpse is kind of pointless there. Yes. Now there's no mana for the Thunderstrike either, and when's the melt going to be up? It's already been used, oh, and she actually broke it. The mysteries so, denied Lena, burns, despite the huge misplay, still manages to get, get the TA there, so it works out the support rotations. Again, we've seen in both games that everyone TPing in. Like, TA really made them work for it though, that's for sure. Yeah. Um, Kind of time wasted, but it's not really wasted since they got the XP and DC from the slot. Oh, what? we do. Oh, yeah. We, I, if I remember correctly, this is actually quite a long pause. Okay, so shall we skip ahead? I'm just going to have a little investigate. Yes, we should skip ahead. Okay, so... Okay, so how on earth are we going to make this happen? Um, so, pause, like, uh, we both go to where they unpause and we just go from there. Okay, they unpause. Much obliged. Okay, should we try and go from 9.30? Uh, 9.30, okay. In-game, that is. Yep. Of course. Okay, so I'm at 9.30. Okay, when you're ready. Three, two, one. Now immediately, the, after the pause ends, pretty much the stun onto the watermelon at the top lane he doesn't have his level six yet. He managed to get such a good crack in the proc, but I think he will get level six if they get one kill here, which yep, could be interesting. Unfortunately, he's walking away right now. He TA's arrived and a huge enemy. meld. Oh, oh. Yeah. oh boy, the double stun from the lion there, making the plays happen. And now Slardar wraps around the other side. Spectre goes down as well, and that is a very big kill. D has brought the Radiance recipe, so she's completely committed to uh, to Radiance at this point. Radiance Are you a fan of that build? Under attack. I mean, obviously the Radiance build is nice, but does she need to come online a little bit earlier? Dyer's bottom tower is uh, under sorry, attack. say that again. Uh, are you a fan of the Radiance build on Spectre, or do you think she should be going something which is going to come on online a I... little bit earlier? I don't certainly don't like the Radiance recipe on the first. Yeah, I know. <laughs> That's what I mean. She's completely committed to it, and now it's risky. Um, I I do like Radiance. Um, now we 
you can see Spectre, oh it's the Witch Doctor that gets the last hit with the uh, Maledict, is that the right name for that spell? I believe so. Yes. Spectre I, does have good farm, so it, sh it shouldn't be a horrendously late Radiance, as long as she doesn't die too often. Yep. It is really the Lena who we should be worried about. Yeah, I'm feeling mighty sorry for the Lena in this particular game. Um, Has gone for Arcanes as well. I imagine that'll just be turned into an Ether Lens. Um, yeah, probably. Arcane, getting the Arcanes for now. Um, yeah, I, I, like, I like Radiant Spectre. Um, I just think that of all the heroes in the game, no matter how bad you think Radiance may or may not be, and Radiance is not bad right now. Radiance was good before it got buffed like three times over, you know, three or four different patches. Um, yeah, the mischance is just so, so nice. The mischance, the damage increase that it got a couple of patches ago as well, is makes the item really good and just Dyer's having the, the, the effectively, you know, maybe 17% physical damage reduction during the fights. Um, and yep, I mean, I, I mean, I really do like the Spectre Radiance. So I just worry that um, yeah. if things go bad early, it, she might she might not be getting Dyer's it anytime soon. But she's up to two k gold already. Yeah. We're all halfway there, and things are, do seem to have slowed down a little bit. Yeah. Um, quickly going back to Spectre, I think I'd like to see just one or two small value items, maybe a Bassy and a wand, or maybe just a wand. I like uh. I usually go for an urn. Oh yeah, urn I'm a big fan of the urn spectre. I forgot about urn spectre. Um, yeah, something would help. I mean, spending a thousand gold on a couple of items, either an urn or like a bassy or a killer, urn, does it's like Dyer's three minutes delayed on the radius, so I can understand going straight for it as long as you've got the space to do it. Now and we've got potentially some action in the radiant jungle right now. The lion somehow he three heroes right walk within him. about a hundred yeah. units of him. Lena did see him at the end there. Lena's got the DD now. I, maybe you just want to use the three power. Oh, they find the slot. She will manage to get the stun on him and he'll dark pack it off. He's level nine. Holy sweet Jesus. Needs to activate that DD and go and hit someone, but no one wants to be hit right now. Lion, that's a level one finger on Lion. 600 damages. With the Shadow Blade on uh, slot, they can probably think about getting a kill down here. Oh, wow, that's a nice fast Shadow Blade. He's farming. Well, I don't think. Oh, yeah, they will get the tide for the lions here, so. I think he's gonna stop that tide. The Still tide. Not Action top in the meantime. Which he... yeah, just about gets out of there. Is there anyone on the other side? Lena, unfortunately, missing a lot of the spells. Um. So it's not, probably not gonna be able to Dyer's get much use out of the DD. Can attack. the Lena see the slot on right now? Radiant's she can. Middle tower is under she's attack. possibly gonna get caught here by the Earthshaker if she gets blocked in on the wrong side. Needs to be very, very careful. Really there is a disruptor camping behind her, but with no ultimate. That's a dead Lena, surely. Yeah, almost certainly. There's the shake absolutely wrecked by the TA and DD. It's not achieving anything at all. 1 2 and 0 oh, into the Lena. What was the kill that the Lena got? I don't even know. Um, Must have been very early. The other kill? Oh, yeah, no, no, no. That was just a straight up 1v1. TA killed Lena. I believe? Oh god, I can't oh, I mean, remember. I mean the, sorry, the kill that Lena got into TA was the one where the two supports rotated me, I remember. Um, uh. Now the Ravage just about connects onto the Slark on the edge and the Witch Doctor ults will be able to take out the Lion, so it's a Ravage and the first Witch Doctor ult. Just for the Lion, but whatever. Slark take casually the walks away with Shadow Blade. Yeah. Um, they did catch the slot just in the edge of the rabbit there, and now TA wants to go in, kind of at the front of the room right now. Two more defensive yes. attacks are available. The Echo Slam does manage to do a little bit. Manages to lock down the Witch Doctor, who already used his ult anyway, but there's no Ravage here, there's no Static Storm, there's no Horn. Spectre is so close to Radiance, I don't think they want to have this, they really want to wait. Needs to not be here right now, she needs to TP back to top right to push out. Just 650 gold away from the, uh, the Radiance. Radiance grab a TP for someone else. Get back up to top lane. Needs to make sure she's not wasting any time here. This is a, a pretty fast Radiance. It, I guess actually it's, it's, it's about average considering that she's got no other items, but acceptable for sure. And it's going to be really nice against all the heroes, TA, Slardar, Slark. 
and it's... It actually, it's good against every single hero. Oh no, but now the slug. Oh no, with just 400 gold to go. Sweet um, and Slark is really, really farmed actually. Yep, he's going straight into the um, Silver Edge. Which I guess is just ready for dispersion on the Spectre, it's not really anything else. Yep, that. not really a big game changer this early, but I guess down the line it could be. Yeah, it does look like quite a bit of damage when the, when the dispersion is maxed out, 22%. Pretty big. Um, TA yeah. has gone for exactly the same build as last game, rushing the Deso before everything else. And it's time for her ancient stack to go down. Oh yeah, she's already got the Deso, so I'm a pretty nice position to slot and TA right at the top. Radiance middle tower is under attack. Yeah, they're far ahead and as soon as this ancient stack goes down as well. Yeah, already Lena is just so <laughs> far behind. On the net worth, but that's only because there are so many other super poor heroes in the game. She's speaking of Lena, she may be about to encounter some issues. One time's dead Lena. So that is the finger on cooldown. There's 150 seconds where they don't have to worry about it. But Lena, what is she even going to go here? She's got a thousand gold. It's possible that she'll just go straight into the Yule Scepter, I guess, but... I think she's going to have to, because she's not going to get to an expensive item anytime soon. No, I think... It was, it's probably also the only thing where she's going to save her against Slark right now. Yeah. Otherwise, she's just going to be solo killed over and over. That's true. I think if she gets... Breaking out the top Slark, going to die, yeah. Tries to turn for maybe a bash onto the witch top. Their Spectre taking a lot Slot of damage. Slark off us. Where did the Spectre just go? Into the river? Yes, onto the lion who's TPing, so she actually gets out. Lion chooses not to cancel the TP. Maybe didn't notice what was happening there. And somehow the Witch Doctor, with all of that damage, manages to take out the TA top, so that's that. Streak ended, and Lena should be able to turn around with the ult onto the Slark here. Will she get it? No, Earthshaker! Echo slams her down. Rest in pepperonis, sweet Lena, who is now 1-4-0. Yep. The most important thing there though was Spectre did manage to get away, does now have his Radiance. That was actually a pretty MLG play by the Spectre, TP in like choosing to haunt to the person that... I think she haunted twice, the first time to the Earthshaker Dyer's in the river and then up the hill to the Lion who was already mid-TP. So was trying to maybe bait out either a council or... No, that was going to help in some way. That was a nice yep. play. Now we'll have to see uh, what they can make happen with with this Radiance, how much of a game changer it is going to be? It's going to be massive, massive is how much of a game changer it's going to be. Um, all of their, pretty much everything they've got Radiance going for them. Bottom is tower is under the Lion Finger once every three minutes or whatever, hold on. The top lane of Witch Doctor is just going to be blown up. If they can You're ever get this luck. Yeah. <laughs> they can ever get a few unlucky there. cast bounces there, yeah. but... Ravage hits onto two, they will be able to take the Slark out too fast here, only has one point in essence shift, but it's going to be enough, and now Spectre is going down, and it's going to be four for nothing up here. As I'm about to say, oh, this Radiance is going to be huge, it's going to change yeah. everything, it changed absolutely nothing. Well, I really don't know why they took that fight, they knew yeah. that the Radiant had five heroes up there, because yeah. they've just seen them kill Witch Doctor, they know they don't have Lena with them, so, but no, what are they thinking, well. 3v5, I mean, it's nice that Spectre's got Radiance, but... He's still extremely nice. squishy. He hasn't yeah. even got treads yet. Yeah. Middle uh, tower is under attack. He should probably have just gone into a jungle, used the Radiance to quickly finish up. Treads an urn or something. Something like that. Um, so yeah, a tier 1 goes down. That's all the dire tier 1's taken. Yep, and a pretty big lead for City right now is... 12k gold is that? I mean, uh, once again, TA decides to go for the blink this game and there you go, he's paid off already. Yep, 12,000 gold lead for City, only 20 minutes into the game, that is pretty, pretty scary. I don't know what the stats are, but I'm guessing the uh, that they're in a very solid statistical position right now. Yep, but if there's one hero that can sort it out, it's Spectre. Yep. There's one hero that can come back from that TA blinks up the hill Ooh. and get the slot to the witch doctor. Will he be able to turn around and get the cast? He does get the cast, he bounces once to the slark. They oh, wow, they're really the thinking about this. Oh, there's the, the spectre. I think they should be able to take down the TA here. Where is the damage? 
Where's the detection? Oh, he's swapping over his, he's swapping over his lords. Turns. <laughs> TA turns for some attacks. Will be able to take him down, and now Spectre gets 700 gold from that. That was. <laughs> you can watch the, the brain ticking. Yeah, I've got this. <laughs> I've got this. So like, bear with me, guys. Bear with me. Uh, yeah, okay. But he had the ice, and he buys the dust now to make sure that doesn't happen again. Um, yeah. But a nice gold injection for uh, Spectre. He hasn't bought the tread straight away, so we'll see what he's thinking there. Uh, he's, uh, or maybe he's going for face boots, video. but something. Oh, Buy something. That's uh, yeah, he's getting the treads now. There we go. Slark now has oh, he a sold. Just he sold them. Oh, yeah, doesn't want those anymore. What was he up to? I guess he's just going to go straight in for a Yashiro or maybe a Diffuser. I really don't like Radiant straight into Diffusal. I think he needs so, some health. Yeah, you need some stats from somewhere, either from a Manta or even going straight for a Scardi wouldn't be that bad comparatively. I just don't think going straight for the Diffusal is going to do very much. Yeah. Um, Diffusal's alright this game, but it's not... I it's not so important that you need to rush it like that. The threat of the threat of city right now. Oh, oh boy, Nina. I'm so sorry. Um, Maybe at this point it's better that we don't catch these Lena kills. Because <laughs> it's getting worrying. She is indeed going for the Yules, but it is going to be one Lina. of the slowest Yules we've seen in a while. Second from the bottom in net worth right now. Wow, Only that is below. not her game. And now the Roshan is going to be going, well, going as well. We see the Slardar TA minus armor strap once more. Minus 20 armor right now on Roshan. Yep, but it's not, not quite the minus, what was it, 31 of the last game, but certainly still pretty scary. A bit low! No, what Spectre, not like this! What? Uh, he was trying to escape the Slark from the top lane. It was worth an attempt. Okay. Um, you know, it would have been impressive if he came in, stole the Aegis. Yeah. Um, and he has, I guess, committed to the defusal now. Unless that's going to be a Yasha. I imagine that'll be a Yasha, yeah. I hope so. So do I. TA extremely aggressive. TA. Oh, oh, look at that! Nice ult. Does get cancelled by the Slardar. They managed to break the Aegis so far, but the Penguin will ensure that that's not going to happen any further. And now the spells go out onto the TA and Disruptor gets that kill on the Static Storm. Wow, that was definitely worth that trade, I think. Yeah, that was actually really good by the Disruptor. Days. Aegis and a T and a and the TA kill just for a Witch Doctor ultimate. Yep. Getting the um Disruptor as, as clowny as the play earlier was actually made a, a really nice one there, putting the stacking the static himself. storm right on top of the TA as soon as she respawned and now there's a gem yeah. on the Disruptor. That's his Maybe gem. uh Maybe his team flamed him just as much as we did for that. <laughs> That ward swap around and he really wants to cover all the bases now. Yeah, um... It looks like maybe the Radiant have clocked onto this, maybe let's not buy blinks against Spectre, as we do see a mech has come out for Lion. Yeah, Earthshaker has his blink, but like I said, I think he probably needs it anyway. Um, the gem is actually going to be really good against the Slark as well with the Silver Edge and Speed. Speaking yeah. of, Disruptor is right at the front now. You're not going to be able to defend yourself here. Get caught. He tries to glimpse himself away, which I don't think can be dark acted, so now he's over here at the other side. He doesn't have his Shadow Dance anymore. Another nice Slardar stun. Stun miss the Lunar Stun is way, way off. Slardar is just going to be able to walk away. Earthshaker gets a nice fissure out to it. Now, oh! Spectre gets wow. blown up! And another Witch Doctor ult was almost really good, but... He was inside the Glimmer Cape, Slardar still saw somehow where he was, I guess he just... I guess the Slardar just saw where he was standing at the beginning of that, and now TA is going to take the Earthshaker, actually, he doesn't even need the TA. The Slardar plays in this game and the last one have both been pretty insane, actually. Yeah, I presume it's The amount of double guy. stuns is... Yeah. Slardar has been making hella plays. Um, but yeah, Lena, dead again. Spectre dead. Tower is Picks up the Asher, but 1-5-5 five five right now. 25-8. Oh yeah, wow. Okay. And the gold lead is also pretty scary. 15k gold and XP lead. Not sure that's the TP! What on... What? Uh, Witch Doctor TP's in, instantly dies. Spectre ultimate. Not sure what she's hoping to achieve here either. As 
potential kill onto Earthshaker, but Thunderstrike isn't going to be enough to get that kill. We do have a blink on uh, Tidehunter and Ravage off in one second, so between him and TA uh, and Spectre, they might be able to get some kills here. Lion is low, as is as is Slardar. These are going to be on some very important kills for Spectre in terms of him getting some items. Woo! Triple kill for Spectre. Triple and for Spectre. Wow, that was a 4v5 as well. Yep, TA died to the tower and the disruptor at the back. Um, the, the static storm didn't really seem to do anything during that, but still somehow all the Radiant Heroes managed to make themselves die. Um, and Spectre has 2,000 gold pretty much out of nowhere and is mech up onto the Tidehunter now. Wow. So, Just as we say how far ahead they are. I think there there are... Uh, the Ravage from Tidehunter was pretty nice onto 3, with Spectre just kind of running around cleaning up. Um, as you as you say, I'm not sure how... TH probably shouldn't be dying to a Disruptor on the back line, and he won't be in the next fight because he has just brought the components of a BKB. Spectre had the money for the BKB during that, and shouldn't have taken that fight without it in all honesty. Yeah. I guess they're just very confident because they're quite far ahead. If you've got a BKB sat in base, that's so much value that it's just worthless. You know, yeah. it's completely worthless. All that lead is m mostly pointless when when it's all sighting base, especially when it's a BKB. Yeah, true that. You're not 12,000 gold ahead if you have 5,000 of items sat in base. Yeah. Um, so yeah, they I think a, some of so maybe the most Apart from the Spectre triple kill, maybe the most important thing that they're feeding over in these fights is the experience. I don't know if I can look at the experience graph here, so it's like a 5k or so gain. In that last fight, time. yeah. yeah. Well. Wow. Tidehunter has managed to find level, level 14. Tidehunter's actually been quietly farming up a, a small storm. Um, he's got the mech, he's got Arcanes, he's got Blink, and now the Ring of Health, I guess he must be going straight in for a refresher. I don't think he'll have the mana to sustain Yeah, he's going to need, at the very least, a few more levels before he can think about that. Um, I mean, I guess he could use it actually with a, using the Arcanes after the refresher, getting an extra to whatever, however much it is, 130 out of that. I think he might just about have enough. Yeah, it's going to be it's going to be tight. Yeah. He's going to need to be very on point. And are they going to bait with the Lena here? They've got the three smoke heroes behind. Oh, and they walk straight into TA, who could be about to die. Instant oh, ultimate. Oh, certainly going to die, yeah. Get oh, and now Slark at the top of the hill has the dance. Manages to take out the cleaner. Wish Doctor, unfortunately, this old, not as good as the other ones. And now Slark is not going to be getting away from this. So Cask actually bounces uphill to the Earthshaker. And wow. then kill again oh to the Slark. God. Those ML bounces. MLG RNG from the Witch Doctor. The two most important kills just had immediately had um the manta is up on the spectre who now has another 2000 gold and he's at the top of the net worth chart yep and spectre if you want to put all your hero farm into one hero then spectre is definitely the hero to do it with yeah she's gonna find this lion as well if like slardog comes back in he's gonna find him as oh. well and now the manta comes out oh okay now oh they could have got that earthshaker but gets sent back to base thanks for the save Disruptor. Yeah, nice play from James there, sends him back. Wow, TP's away on 20 HP. Yeah. Very Radiant's confident. Tower and what's, what was, what's he going to go now? I still I, s I still think he needs some kind of tanky item. Maybe, but he, yeah, he can go straight in for a heart now, actually. Yeah, 3,000 gold. Top tower is under right now. I don't think he needs to worry too much about defusal. I don't think they should short on damage. Radiance top tower yeah, I think, I think he's fine just to tank up. Assuming Guardy the, or heart, I guess. Assuming the Lena manages to use an ult. Um, they have the Witch Doctor ult as well, who is more than halfway to the hag. Finally, uh, Lena has finished her 30 minute yules. Pretty much a the kind of farm we would expect on a support Lena right now. Yeah, they have some pretty decent levels though. It's hit level 14, the same as the just below the tide on top. Probably going to be forced into the axe on Lena to try and uh, deal with the BKBs which are going to come out. 
Slardar, as good as his stuns have been, has been struggling to find the farm that he wants. It's 30 minutes in and all he has really is the blink. Even with the Iron Talon, which should have sp sped up his farm by quite a serious amount, all he's got is the blink and a single Mithril Hammer. Um, so that's a delayed BKB, which ideally he would have got a lot earlier, or even an Arblot or anything else on the Slardar. I think he should have probably bought an Ogre Club before a Mithril Hammer as well. Now they did actually smoke right under a sentry, but I don't think there was any actual vision of it, so Lena... <laughs> Seven, yeah. eight, nine! Ninth time, wow. Two, nine, one on your mid Lena. I mean, if there's anyone that is probably going to be happy with attack. dying right now, it's going to be the Lena. Yeah, oh god. It doesn't really matter at this stage, the Witch Doctor is certainly probably more important. Yeah, definitely more important. In terms of so's yeah, so's the disruptor probably for the control. The disruptor has the gem as well, so you don't want him to die. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. Maybe it's uh, it's all part of the plan. Although it looks like Ty could be in some trouble here. Slardar actually well, goes behind the enemy lines. Huge trouble, and now the BKB from the PA is not really going to be any chance of a proper ravage here. He might try to blink back in and turn it around, but the witch doctor is already over, so this ravage isn't actually going to do anything. It's just going to have to bail. Spectre does have ultimate up and didn't the whole the whole duration of that fight he had to ultimate up. Yeah. Decided that it wasn't worth coming in. And I suspect that the Spectre was right by doing that. Um I don't think that would have been. I think they had the Ravage up as well though, so if they weighed out the BKBs, maybe they could have done something. Yeah, just to Oh now I know, look at that slot is very nearly dead and Lena does get the stun at the end. Spectre already got a double kill, the Slardar and the Lion. Gem on the ground, which Earthshaker comes back for. Unfortunately, he misses the combo, but it's not going to matter. Wow. Ultra kill on the Spectre. Boy, oh boy. And he has got heart and treads now, is that? Radiant's top tower. Yeah, that is. 2k for Lena. <laughs> Lena. <laughs> yeah. Oh, God. Lena actually got a really good ult off and his thunder in that. Got the ult off onto the slot before he could um, shadow dance, and then. Got the stun on top of him whilst the shadow dance was going, so managed right. to find a lot. Spectre's actually, I mean, he's been on top for a while, but he's, he's really pulling away now. 3,000, 3,000? Yeah, 3,000 ahead of Slark, pretty much. And there is a heart and treads for him. He is suddenly. Oh, just a heart. No treads. That's very scary, actually. Slark is generally pretty good against Agi carries, but. Not, not amazing against Spectre. You're Radiant's going to be missing and a lot of your damage is coming straight back at you. Yeah, this is... game is hard from for this point, I think, for City. Um, TA. Golgraf is nearly back to even as well. Um, double damage on the Spectre. We should be able to pick up the rush and we're relatively easy here. TA is trying to build towards a MKB now, but only has a javelin and 300 gold. So that's actually a long way away now and they're going to struggle to find what they want to find out of the map right now. They're moving towards the Roshan and the, there's actually no sentry down there. They do have there. the gem actually. The gem, though. Yeah. So the Witch Doctor manages to glimmer himself out with a nice double fissure. Maybe up to three there. Four staff down the hill for the Earthshaker who hasn't used the Echo. Like, oh, he doesn't have it! Ten seconds until the Echo. That means there's just no way that they can take this fight. The TA is still nice and healthy, but she just has to run away. Spectre gets another two, another two kills. Slardar charges up the hill. The horn comes out now so they can make sure they can get the Slardar at the end of a little bit of... Failed communication there, but Spectre lift walks back down. Another three kills for the Spectre. TA, the only one to get away. And well, I don't. Well. Uh, that was risky, I think, trying to take that fight. Yeah. No vision, charging into Roche. That was bad. Way, way too bad. And I think now the Spectre can pretty much go for whatever she wants. She can go for some big damage items like maybe even an MKB. Could go for the butterfly. And it's going to be a long time until the TA picks up the MKB. Yep, and that um, forcing Slark and Slardar to think about MKB as well was probably worth buying an MKB. Uh, what buying a butterfly for? We will see shortly, though. She's still running around with brown boots at 35 minutes. Maybe even just buying the travels would be an option. I don't know. Yeah. 
think replace the replace the stick with something, then get the travels, and then get whatever the item might be. Uh, yeah, I think two, definitely I Butterfly is the one to consider. Or Scardy, I guess, is still alright, although now she's got the heart. The tankiness won't worry her too much. Yeah, AC actually wouldn't be wouldn't be awful either. Refresher is up onto, onto Tidehunter. So we Let's have just... a look at the mana. Yeah, he has to get two arcanes off. Yeah, he, he, even yeah. if he does that he can't use the mech either, so we need to think about that. Yeah, we can only assume he's going to go for Ashivas now. Or, I guess the actual, the... It used to pretty much be you have to go for Shivas, but I guess he could think about Ags. Yep. That's another one that will give him some mana. I don't think Octarine is legit, so... Uh, I think I think I still prefer Shivas to be honest, but we'll see. Octarine is okay. It's not the best item. I think uh, even the sheep would be fine. Oh yep, sheep always legit. Nice against Slark as well. Slark and TA. If you can get get the TA before the BKB um, or the Slark before the Shadow Dance. Should be pretty happy. Slark trying to build towards the BKB of his own. Um, mostly just to deal with the A, the damage from the Lena, which is what killed him last time. and. UEA have smoked and they are on the hunt. Yep. Not sure they'll consider an Earthshaker kill to be worth their while. We'll see. Don't think we're going to find him anyway. No, unfortunately. Awesome. We're going to find the lion. I think he was just zoning him out as much as anything to make sure that that. Lion kill was absolutely secure. I think the Dyer probably want to think about finishing off that last tower. I don't think City are going to be overly keen to contest a tier 2 while Ravage is up. I think... I feel like East Anglia can just go for the... Go for the jugular now. Well, just get enough damage there. Had the extra damage from the bash that actually made it. Spectre has decided to finish up phase boots, actually. <laughs> if he wanted to do that, I'm not sure why he didn't do it early on, but okay. Yeah, whatever. He's going to go for the butterfly, so... TA... Actually, he's, he's close to his MKB now, just 750 more. I think Slark's going to have to get one as well, right? Mm. Finish up this BKB, then he's pretty much got no choice. Yeah. Because TA alone isn't going to be able to clean up this spectre. No, I guess not. And it's an okay item on the Slark, but he really needs some attack speed. That's the number one thing that Slark benefits the most from because of the essence shift. He can get I guess that um, Slardar will get AC eventually, but... Mm. Slark sees the spectre. She might be thinking about a kill, but she has the Aegis. Actually goes into the wrong. The wrong one, and now unfortunately, <laughs> the fissure stops the slot from getting the right Can they actually kill the spectre? I don't, I don't think the answer is yes. Side, but he's just gonna get torn apart by the spectre. What are you doing? Where's, where's my team killing a worthless witch doctor? Just about ma manages to find the blink at the end. And the ravage hits two, I think, and he refreshes and blink forward. He uses another one, doesn't have any mana left, has enough for. Two of his spells are met. The slark is at the top of the hill here. These random glimpses, whenever he can hit them. Slark is going to get away thanks to that slightly messed up glimpse. So, a pretty even trade all round, except for the fact that Tide does pop both Ravages, which. Dyer's if City recognise, maybe they attack. will. I don't, I don't even think City are. Even with Ravages down, they can't really push. I mean, one of the deaths. One of them was Radiant a Slardar, it was a gold item for about a thousand gold for the Dyer. The Spectre didn't lose the Aegis. The Spectre has now finished up the butterfly, just as the uh, Aegis times out, so we'll see what final item he's going to think about, if it's going to be the Defusal, an AC. I mean, the Spectre uh, just bought a phase boost, but now the Spectre has to go. <laughs> Actually, does Spectre even need travels? 
You can be uh, anywhere and just haunt. It doesn't need them, but it's gonna happen eventually. A gift from the Tempest of Battle. Witch Doctor has just picked up his eggs. Um, he'll be able to get that when he's got the courier. What happened to that gem? Who ended up picking that up? I know Witch Doctor picked it up after Disruptor. Disruptor has, got has it made it back into his inventory. I think that's the same one. Yeah, it is. He's just picked up the four staff as well. Lock. There is a lot of smokes going on. We've just disrupted uh, carrying another smoke, and uh, TA has just picked one up as well. So we'll see what the radiant are planning with that. We also see that MKB has been finished on the um, on the TA, okay. and there is now four smoked for the radiant. Yep, with the BKB on the slaughter and the MKB on the TA, no Aegis on the Spectre. This is probably the time to fight. But it's still far from an easy kill, but into the it, it's possible at least. <laughs> into the Witch Doctor eggs now, it's into, like you said, a very, very, very difficult kill on the Spectre who has 3k. Spectre is yeah, actually no. pop the ultimate, is he going to come in on this? Probably not going to come into the middle of this, which is wise. Going to move down, the get ultimate a little down. split push. Uh, what are the rest of the heroes doing moving back over here towards where the entire team was just Just like they're about the to bump into... Spectre. Oh, oh. Earthshaker just about TPs out in the die jungle. If that was the other way around, then the witch doctor died and the disruptor found him. Spectre could be in a little bit of trouble here. Yeah, Spectre. Still far from an easy kill though. And the long count is actually. Oh my god. Slardar gets 1400 gold. I don't think Slardar even really attacked the Earthshaker there. Maybe what just the once at the end, but. Also dying to the Radiance. Thing. I think Slark was getting some pretty nice bash RNG throughout that. Yeah, the f I mean, at the beginning just it was just the pounce stopping the Spectre from moving away into the trees with the dagger, but yeah, two or three bashes. Pretty damn nice. It looks like City are going to think about t turning this into a push whilst yeah. Spectre's down, which is pretty much the only chance they're going to have. I still just think they're going to struggle so much to break the base. They're going to—it's going to require a really nice team fight. They, I mean, they can push pretty fast, but Slark and the TA two heroes that don't really mind standing around them, smacking at the towers, and I think they want to try and force a buyback here, which the Spectre doesn't really want to do without the horn. Oh, seconds until the horn. TA blinks in, almost one shots the disruptor. And now Slark is at the front, so both of these supports are going to go down and. Oh! Now a buyback into a haunt. Oh, Slark should still find this. No, he doesn't. He turns the other way. They managed to get the Lena, but whatever, Lena, who cares? Lena actually has a Scythe that was unused, but now Slark turns the other way. He's got 25 stacks of the Essence Ship, and this is almost certainly going to be two lanes of Rax. The double Ravage comes out. They were stacked a little bit, and I guess it made sense just to make sure the BKB didn't come out. And now the TA turns towards Spectre. The Echo Slam comes out, but there's no more Ravages left. Is there any way they can control these heroes enough? TA is at the bottom of the hill trying to find some damage onto the Spectre, but she's absolutely melting through the Slark, and now she's going to chase for the TA as well. Is there going to be a blink? There's four, three refraction charges left. The Tidehunter has three seconds until he can blink forwards, and now there's no defensive refraction. Eight seconds on cooldown, and Spectre will get another second ultra kill somehow. Despite I think the weird thing about that fight was that Spectre bore back when she was 10 seconds away from respawning and three of her team had died. I, mean, I think that she could have thought about buying back a little bit earlier. The, I think buying back without Haunt wasn't going to do anything. I think that's the main thing. Oh, maybe she was waiting for Haunt to come off cooldown. I yeah. see. Yeah. Okay. She, I know when she was 40 seconds left to respawn, she had 22 seconds. Oh, uh, okay. I think she waited till the exact moment she had. Yeah. That explains that then. Um, and what that did was... It did bait out a lot of commitment. The TA and the Slark were really far inside the base, and they both Radiant used middle both tower the Slark had used his BKBs to get the kills on the supports. But then the Slark, sorry, the Spectre buys back. The Tide Hunter gets out the double Ravid, and somehow, basically, just those two heroes managed to clean up the entire team. That was insane. Yeah, that is actually pretty scary when they can two v five. It's best without things like the Lena Hex on top as well. Yep. Is pretty much been a but they did get a tier 3. It's <laughs> almost more than I hoped for at this point for City, to be honest. 
Yeah. And the Spectre buyback is also very valuable. The gold difference is essentially nothing at this point. Yeah, the the buyback on Spectre, the, um, just the cooldown as well. They've got, they know they've got five minutes where if they take out the Spectre, she's going to be down for probably a hundred and something seconds. Yeah, so I think uh, UEA might want to think about Roshan sometime soon, just to try and avoid that terrible situation where Spectre dies without buyback. Pop the smoke, but someone, Disruptor, just drew a little circle exactly where they were on the map. I don't know what that was. Hmm. Like Maybe just good guesswork, or maybe it was just... It was a who really knows? small, tight circle around exactly where they just smoked on the map, and there was no vision of it. Oh, That's like potentially that. worrying. Yeah, weird. Um, but now, Lena gets caught once more. She manages to do it herself, and now the gravity from the Titan says, Lena, turn around and use the spells, buddy. Should be able to get an ult onto the slot, or onto someone here. The Tide Hunter is getting taken down by the slot. The BKB is about halfway through. Slardo goes down at the back. Only the TA in the slot to survive. Another double for the Spectre. Spectre just can just basically do anything in these fights. Press R, right click on something. Um, yeah, it's not it's, it's not uh, the most high skill, but we have we did see some nice haunt positioning from him earlier. So I mean, Spectre he's demonstrated he's capable, but by the late game, it's basically just press R. <laughs> I mean, it, getting to this amount of farm in the first place in a position where you see yeah, behind that, that's the skill actually. Um, he's now twenty eight thousand net worth. Yeah, that's Radiance middle. And their turn to try and force out some buybacks from the Radiant. Lena can't get the. Sheep off straight away. Slardo's gonna be now, and there's the sheep. Woohoo! Get hot! Now, there is a buyback available on the Slardar and the Slark, and they both are gonna need to think about using this, especially if the TA goes down, which she does. She's got a buyback as well, and Nerf Shaker is gonna be going down too! Oh boy, oh boy! But now, TA, sorry, TA buys back. Spectre is gonna Whoa. pay for the hubris. That is a lot of buybacks, lot of buybacks and that buybacks, is an extremely optimistic dive. This is where they go for the kill. Spectre was trying to get that, get the team wiped, but now they've all built back. The team is going to be wiped off the face of the map, and Spectre, 90 seconds Radiant's until she can be back in this game. It's, it's 30,000 gold. It's 5,000 gold even in the inventory. All this money, all this net worth, all this stuff that the Spectre brings to the fights is not going to be here for 70 seconds. And let's see what City can do with it. Boy, oh. Boy, was that a huge mistake from Spectre, why would you do Ridiculous. That? Really ridiculous. Just for an Earthshaker kill. Lena buys back, Judge Doctor buys back, but there isn't far. one on the Disruptor, and they know that there isn't one on the Spectre. 50 seconds. What can they do? There's Tide has gone for the Ags. I'm quite enjoying watching it, actually. I don't think I've ever seen that in a game I've played. Yeah, the Ags is pretty good. Yeah. Nice wave clearance actually for defending these towers, a problem that they're about to have. Yeah. Spectre, only 30 seconds till he's back up. We'll see what. Um yeah. Do they need to be going this deep? Okay, so the slot gets taken down. Sorry, the slot gets taken down by the leader. And now Slark is posting the static storm and parties and his spells. My god, this defense has actually been amazing. The coordination from these four has been pretty much spot on. All the spells used perfectly. All the Lena spells land in. And the Spectre will just come in with the with the radiance, finish off the TA. And she actually manages to get a blink up onto that high ground, but I think oh my god, might manage to tick her out. Oh, oh she is anyway. Um, that, I think, I mean, that was a good defense by UEA for sure, but did the Radiant really need to walk past the rats? Couldn't they just finish them off? Yeah, they, they really went deeper than I think they needed to, which gave Tide an opportunity for that really nice double ravage. I think the play there would have been to run straight for the middle racks, take that down, take out the melee top if they could and get out, but. Yeah, didn't happen. They got so, the delay, throws and counter throws there. I mean, City, who I think really should have lost before that Spectre dive, have just. I think just. I think they just went far too deep. Yeah, uh, and I don't. I don't think it's Radiant's really middle barracks are under attack. Lions up. The Earthshaker and the Slaughter are going to be up in five, but those three, unlike the. Unlike the Disruptor Lena, 
Yeah, I can't imagine the Spectre is going to suicide again, although we do see a very nice Echo Slam onto three, not quite enough damage to get any kills. Or at any stage in this game. Radiance middle tower the tide, is so under attack. making a little bit of space right now. The Spectre is Radiance still here. The towers have actually found some backdoor regen now because the freaks have been gone Radiance for so long. Radiance top tower is under attack. The freaks have been in the back of regen. All stops and it will have to find the second lane of racks. We hope here is not slow. It's come up, but if we need to be super Radiance careful, he can actually be taken down very, very, very fast. Radiance top tower is under attack. Yeah, I'm not sure if I can see a a road back in, we'll see if uh, I assume that the Dyer have learned their lesson and they're not going to hang around, they're going to settle for two racks. This is an incredible net worth graph, right? Yeah, it really is, actually. <laughs> now the Roshan, probably going to be claimed once more. Slark is dying just to Spectre Illusions right now. Manta Illusions take more than half of Slark's health away. Wow, look at Spectre's gold as well. He is so farmed. He's about to pick up an Abyssal, I assume. Yeah. Close to having a Moonshard on top of that as well. Just sell it. Um. Phase boots. Phase boots, yes. And Abyssal. Abyssal is nice. I think. I. Yeah. I guess Diffusal was the other option, but. Yeah. I mean, the Diffusal is fine, but this leg into the game is. Yeah, I guess he's, yeah. Rebissal was just gonna let him insta kill anyone pretty much. Yeah, the 100 damage is, is pretty big as well. Now TA. Managed to get the blink. So 52 minutes in, the net worth lead for the Dyer is now pretty huge. Do you think there's any. Is there any uh, any hope for the radium? What can they do? Is there any um, big item change that's gonna? M I mean, um, Slardar's close to the AC. I don't think that's a massive game changer at this point, but it's it's something. I'm trying my best to find something. Um, but I, I really don't know. Really don't know what they can do at this point. They were so far ahead. Um, and. Because because they were confident with the fights, they kept on going and going and going for fights. And that meant they stopped farming and eventually when they lost a fight, it just meant that it was such an easy route for East Anglia to come back in. They're so yeah. far behind now. I, I, there's no item that can change this. There's even, you know, you could get two or three more items, you know, split between the Slardar and the Slark and the TA and it still wouldn't be enough. I think at this point, maybe even... <laughs> The biggest hope is would be like Ag's Veil on Earthshaker or something. Oh, Spectre yes, does not care. Oh, not absolutely right. The double ravage used onto the Slark. The ult from the Lena is going to be available and she actually misses My the stun, fire. hits it onto herself. So both Ravages ult. and Spectre are used and they lose a Lena. And yet they still want to go for yeah. the baser. Finger of Death goes out onto the Tidehunter who's pretty much already used all his stuff. They're focusing, trying to get this low health Tidehunter, but this isn't going to do anything. TA is still oh, alive. Spectre, not again! Even to the side. Don't go into the base, Spectre! Okay. God. Pings, pings, pings from the Witch Doctor. Don't go into that fucking face! Just get the <laughs> rats! Now TA. TA's come in. Yep, goes forwards, but he's just going to be 
melted, wrecked by the Spectre, I'm almost certain there's no way that TA can do this. TA has the buyback available and she's going to need to use it and now Lion is going to be going down too, the Spectre just moves too fast. Pops the Flutter so it doesn't have evasion but the TA is the only one doing physical damage who hasn't MTV anyway. Get away from that base Spectre! Get the buildings. Please just kill the bottom racks. Oh, uh, we can see that they're base. Oh, the yeah, ancient is a, about like a third be HP. Dying here anyway. Uh, Spectre, I don't think they're going to lock down. They've got the finger. They've got the Mel. They're doing quite a lot of damage. And can the they kill Spectre? Is going down for a while now. They've still got the Aegis though. When is this going to time out? Not Spectre's enough. down. Slardos up in three seconds. But TA is dying to creeps. Uses the horn to keep him back in base. There's not going to be any chance for a, for a blink. Slaughter doesn't quite get there in time. Doesn't pop the BKB early enough. And boy, oh boy. 50 52. Yep. That was a intense, intense game. And that does take the series to 1 1. So we have one game left to go to see who's a. Uh, Gonna come out on top here. We'll see if my name is Jeff is gonna play TA yet again. Uh that Spectre had twenty nine kills. Yeah, having his net worth was <laughs> what was it? it was like thirty five thousand at the end and he sat on he sat on thirteen thousand gold. Yeah, and an abyssal on courier as well, right? So yep. So he had like like twenty five K of items on him, thirteen K, another seven K on the courier, eight hundred and twenty one GPM over fifty six minutes. That's so high. Yep, and involved in 40... Oh god, maths. 46 kills out of 52 is pretty legit. And that GPM is as much as any other two heroes on his team combined, I think. Apart from the apart from the Lena Tide combined, but it's very, very close. Yeah, anyway. I think a, ge a game to forget for Lena, but yep. Spectre will probably not let him forget it. Although I can't imagine that they're going to let him forget about that dive too quickly either. Completely. Okay, we'll be back in just a few minutes with game three. Stick with us. Doesn't even need